Hi guys, welcome to Irish Willy Vlogs, match day vlog and I suppose after match reaction here today from United Park, Drotada for the meeting with Drotada United and Cove Ramblers. I'd like to say once again thanks to the people at Drotada for actually letting me come in and vlog the game, so much appreciated, so fair play to everyone there. As for the game itself, uh, Drotada are two points off uh, Cabantilli at the top of the table, Cove at 11 points, so uh, they've been in good form Cove in recent weeks to be fair to them. They obviously lost in the cup game to Dundalk 2-0, but a dodgy penalty for Dundalk uh, made it more comfortable than it actually was. They've been in good form, as I said. They've won a few games the last few weeks. They hammered Wexford 4-0, and they won 2-0 against... Who was that against? <laughs> Longford, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a fantastic result against Longford as well. So they've been in good form. They've some good players. Dave Hurley, the Phillips, they have lines on the back. And Malloy as well, so um, they're coming here to get a result. There's no doubt about that. A win for them propels them into the playoffs and puts some three points behind Drotada. Who knows? As for the home side, Drotada United, they obviously were beaten last time out 2 0 with Larry City in the cup. Two very late goals, and there you got them the win. It was a good performance, relatively, for Drotada, though. Ultimately, the league is what it's all about for them. They're in decent form. They won 3 0 away to Wexford, which was a good result in their last league game, and 1 0 here at home to Galway, in which I covered as well. So, um, yeah, Drotter, I think, will be confident in getting a win here. They can't focus too much on Cabin Teeley, to be fair. That's their next game in the league, so um, that could be a big game, but they'll be thinking, let's try and get a win going into that game because that, it's important they win tonight. It's not going to be easy. I do think they have more about them on their bench, you know, that they might may need to use. The options they have, I've talked about before, in the forward line. But uh, be interested if they play a back three tonight because I think Lyons and or sorry Lyons Kane and um Brown do very well as wing backs to be honest and I think the three centre backs are very good and they complement each other a little bit as well. So it'll be interesting to see if they do that tonight. Um they should have a bit little bit too much for Cove. I think it will be a tight game. I'm gonna say draw it at two one and um let's see if I'm right guys let's get in there. You want to be in the camera now? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, you got the ball! Oh, fuck you! 
Hi guys, just back in from the match, Strotted and nil, Cove Ramblers won and uh, the trip home gave me time to digest the result and how the game went. Um, first of all, I'll say a massive, massive, massive result for Cove Ramblers. Um, it puts them in the promotion picture now, I think they're on 14 points. It's really tight at the top now guys. Um, I believe Bray won tonight, Cabin Teeley lost. Uh, UCD won, I think, 7-0. Maybe I haven't checked the results, I have to say, because it's just a reaction here after the game. And who else am I missing? Longford, I think, won as well. So it's very, very tight at the top. Um, An interesting game. I think Drotted had the better generally the first half. They had better chances. Obviously, they missed a penalty through Chris Lines. Um, to be fair to Chris, nine times out of ten, he took them away. Um, It looked like it was kind of down the middle. To the right hand corner from where Chris was taking it and the keeper guessed right made a good save uh, he went for power uh, after that I think Drotted uh, kind of looked to take advantage down the right hand side with Brown and Brandon Birmingham they done quite well, they knitted together well down there um, got a few crosses into the box but either cleared didn't be the first man um, Cove defended them quite well, I thought uh, Charlie Lines was very good for Cove as well so you go into the break, nil, nil, second half. I thought for the first 10 minutes, roughly 10, 15 minutes, maybe they upped the tempo, Drotta, and they looked bright. Birmingham missed a good opportunity where he was in on the keeper. Kind of a one-on-one, -on -one, but not the easiest one-on-one. -on -one. That said, the keeper comes off his line very well and manages to save it. Good height for him, though. Um, Cove then took the lead, 66 minutes through Coleman. Um, unfortunately for Prendergast, he sliced the clearance and um, Coleman, I have to say, tucked it away nicely. Very, very good finish. After that, that was after 66 minutes, I have to say, dropped it, weren't a threat at all. Um, Cove saw the game quite comfortably in the end, it has to be said. They really grew in confidence. It was a really good team performance from them. 
um, and a big, big win for them, as I said, because it puts them in the promotion picture now as well. Um, Kavanagh was excellent at right back for them as well. I thought Dave Hurley was absolutely fantastic in midfield. Uh, if I was to name a man the match, I'd give it to Dave Hurley. Um, he had the number 10 in the back of his shirt, but he was dropping deep a lot of the time, picking up pockets, um, starting a lot of Cove Ramblers' attacks. Um, his passing and vision was really, really good as well. He wasn't afraid to get stuck in. I thought it was a really good performance from Dave Hurley in the middle of the park for Cove. Um, overall, I think Drott will be disappointed. Uh, if they scored a penalty, who knows? The game changes, could win through with 3-0. Um, but I do think that what will disappoint them a bit more when they did go behind, there was still plenty of time to get back into the game, but they never really threatened after that. Um, most of their best work was actually before that point. So they'll be very, very, very disappointed with that. Um, that said, they have a big game coming up against Cabin Teeley now. Um, you know, it's so tight there now. I think there's a couple of teams with 17 points. Um, I'd have to look at the table again later on, but, you know, Cove have put themselves in the picture as well, and they can't be underestimated now. I thought it was a really good performance by Cove, and overall, maybe they deserve to win it. Um, but it was a really intriguing game, and the first division, it's just very interesting now. Looking forward to that game on, I think it's Monday. I think it might be Monday. I have to check it up again, but draw it on Cavan Teeley. So, guys, I'll leave it there. I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit your bell notification button uh, just to keep you updated with all the videos, basically. So I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, comments, say what you want. Did you see the game on the stream? Um, what was your opinion? If you're a Cole fan, I'd like to hear from Cole fans as well. How do you think your team is doing? You must be proud of the way they're doing this season as well. So uh, I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks very much. Good night.